back to my channel, it's Ruth Ann's World. In today's video, I'll be showing y'all my back to school makeup routine, which is what's going on with my face right now. If you are liking what you're seeing, um, continue watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next videos that I may upload. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but here we are. Oh, I'm about to look so silly. Some of the products that I use are like unusual and not necessarily name brand. So I will try my best to find something like it or the exact same product if I can. Um, and everything will be linked down in the description below if y'all want to purchase it. The first thing that I go with is primer. I know like, you know, not everybody uses primer. I don't actually use primer that often, though I should, and it helps 100%, makes the makeup glow on your face, and it makes your life just so much easier in general. So when I do use primer, the primer that I do go in with is the Elf Hydrating Face Primer that comes in this cute little bottle. And a little goes a long way with this stuff, I, I'm telling y'all. Some people go in with foundation after primer, but foundation makes me feel like I have too much makeup on. And I truly am just a concealer girl. Um, funny enough, because I know there's like so many memes and stuff around that. And I, I might just be one of those people who are, you know, what the memes are based off of. But um, the next thing that I go in with after primer is my blush, actually. Um, so I will be using this, like, this is actually lip gloss, but it, this color, it's so beautiful and it's the perfect shade of blush for me um yeah this is actually lip gloss and i don't know what brand this is but it says nudes on it if y'all have watched my other makeup videos you know that i love blush but every time i put it on i look like a clown like if y'all watch my cold girl makeup video don't just don't just don't watch it because i look crazy in it but yeah that's what this is giving me right now and i'm reminiscing on old times and also if you see a fluctuation in quality throughout the video it's because i'm switching from the my camera on my phone to a snapchat camera so i can get really close shots of my face because in snapchat you can zoom in while using the front camera while you know on the iphone camera you can't so that's what it is anyways I'm gonna blend this br um, blush in. I don't use a beauty blender for my makeup at all. I only use brushes, like, these are all the brushes that I use when I do my makeup. They're kind of dirty, but... Anyways, those brushes are from Amazon. Um, like, four out of five of them are from Amazon. Um, same collection, which will, everything, like I said, will be linked down in the description box down below. Um, I feel like the blush disappeared very quickly off my face, but I promise it's there in real life But yeah, so now that the blush is blended in I'm gonna go in with like contour Once again, I'm not a traditional makeup person. So This is this is me just showing y'all my back-to-school makeup routine. It's not like a tutorial or anything I will be using eyeshadow palette For my contour, which is these two shades and I mix them together on my brush and then I kind of just pat them into my skin I'm gonna show y'all. But yeah, I just like pat, and I don't know if y'all saw how quickly that got on there. When I feel like contouring, this is what I do. You tilt your head down and see where your natural shadows are on your face. It really helps contouring accurately so you don't look stupid and crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a um, my concealer. Oh my gosh. This is the Full Cover Concealer by Kiss Professionals. It's so rubbed off in comparison to a new one. And I don't know, but does that, do those colors look different to y'all? They look the same in real life, but I feel like my camera's tweaking or I'm, I'm just being stupid. Oh, that looks wild but i don't apply apply that much concealer around my mouth that was a lot though in comparison to what i normally do i used to have really hyper pigmentation around my mouth when i was little and if anything it was kind of like an 
not I want to say eczema situation, but my skin would like flake and peel around my mouth when it was like really dry and was it was very painful. So maybe it was some type of eczema, but I don't have it anymore. And I really prioritize moisturizing this whole area of my face. So when I put on chapstick, it kind of looks weird because I'm like Doo -doo -doo -doo, and I'll just go all the way around. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm very picky about what I put around the area, so I don't put that much makeup on it. Because once again, as you all know, it also creases around the mouth because I have these like really intense smile lines um, in real life at least because I do smile a lot. So I don't want to put makeup around it in general in fear of creasing. Um, and then I've also found that if I blend the concealer around my mouth with a brush or beauty blender or anything that's um, not my hand, it doesn't look good. It looks cakey or like it creases really badly so instead of using a brush for um when i blend around my mouth i use my finger i don't know something about it and i don't like pat which i know what that's what people like you know pat no i don't do that i just kind of now that the concealer is kind of been sitting on my face um a tip is to let your concealer sit on your face for a while so it can like kind of dry down a little bit um so yeah but i take this brush this like small kind of like paddle brush and i just kind of like pat pat the outer corners of your concealer into your blush first so there's not like a crazy line of you know demarcation it already kind of looks blended in which the shade match is unreal <laughs> i know y'all see the comparison like that's actually wild next thing i'm gonna go in with is the 16 hour matte finish cameo concealer this is in the shade deep chestnut in one of my videos i talked about um i think it was in the we need to talk video which sorry for catfishing y'all um <laughs> catfishing i mean click baiting y'all because there was literally not anything important to talk about which oops but um, I talked about how I got the dewy finish one as versus the matte one and the color difference is actually crazy. If you're gonna sell a product matte finish versus dewy finish, at least change the names because they both had the same name, just different finishes and the, the dewy finish one was so much darker and it was, it wasn't even my concealer like that, could have been my foundation. Anyways, so I'm gonna go in with this. This is lighter you know, than me, of course. Um, and I'm, I use this t as a brightening effect for my under eye area. I don't apply too much. I know girls who like, <laughs> you know, like swoop it on their face and everything. I'm not, I'm not one of those girls. So I just kind of apply it to my inner corner. It's like one dot. And I take a little bit on my wing and I wing it up for um, a snatching effect. There's this, this whole trend about having, or at least wanting your face to look sucked up like snatch like you got Botox for 10 years but it's really never as serious but I still do it blend it in the direction you want it to go look I don't know if y'all can see because the shadow of my hair but it's going up to set my face I don't I don't really bake because I don't know how to bake it I was my bake it looks bad like cakey crusty looks bad um so the next thing that i go in with is the elf um yellow corrective powder oh my gosh if i can get this open and honestly best purchase i've ever made in my life when i see those powders that are like oh it blurs your face it blurs your face i'm like how are you gonna blur how are you gonna blur how how this isn't like an app, this isn't a phone, you can't just, you know, brush over it. But I'm telling you, this powder blurs my face so well, it has made me a believer. It has like a little slidey thing on the inside too, like it's just, ugh. Basic, me getting impressed by basic technology, like oh my gosh. Get it on the brush, I know that looks white, but it's it's yellow in real life. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but it's, it's yellow in real life. difference is uncanny okay maybe that was a little too much oh my gosh y'all they look insane oh 
I'm in serious belief that my camera's making this, this look 10 times worse than it actually is, or I'm just like unaware that I look bad. But um, yeah, anyways, out of the contour. Now I'm gonna go in with this Dollar Tree blush. This is from the Ioni brand. And then this is the um, peach blush. It's a Zodiac collection. So this is the Gemini one. I'm not even a Gemini. I am a Leo. And we're gonna just glide that on top of the um, contour area, but under the concealer. And I still haven't brushed off my um, powder. So we're letting that sit. Year. Imagine this just like never goes up. <laughs> just gets thrown into the videos that never made it onto YouTube. That's so funny. So now that my blush and my contour is on, I'm gonna brush the powder off my face. decided to try and bake <laughs> i just like cut the cameras and was like mm. so i didn't like how my set job was like why did it look like that i'm gonna film a video after i do this so i'm filming this video and then i'm filming another video it's august 12th so i yeah it's my birth week so I will just be busy trying to film my birthday um, week vlog. And then I'll probably also be filming a birthday party video. Why do I look like that? lashes have powder on them <laughs> i think that did it strong it served its purpose does that mean i like it i don't know but it served its purpose i'm gonna go in with this dewy um setting spray by beauty evolved i know that i get this brand from ross so you probably won't find it but i used to use the elf dewy setting spray that comes in like the black and green bottle um no hate to that it does the same purpose this one's just cheaper and local Oh, I've drowned my face. I got this lipstick. I also use the e.l.f. Um, hydrating lip chapstick. I forget what shade, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get it because this is gonna make this make sense. If I stand back here, it doesn't look as bad, but if I get into the that looks bad. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Tinted Lip Chapstick. Yeah, that's what this is. And um, this is in the color Aesthetic. I love a good like plum color on me. It tints your lip too. Are these clips? They look crazy. Mm -hmm. 